definition, a wave is a disturbance which travels through a medium transferring energy from one point to another without causing any permanent displacement of the medium. So that's your definition for waves. Now, when it comes to classifying waves, we can classify waves based on two different um, criteria. The first one is, okay, let's look at classification of waves. We can classify waves based on two criteria. The first one is based on the medium of propagation. The second way of classifying wave is based on the direction of travel. Alright, so those are like two different criteria for classifying waves. Now, the first one then, based on the medium of propagation, based on the medium of propagation, there are two types of waves. First one is called mechanical waves. Now, when it comes to mechanical waves, what are mechanical waves? Mechanical waves are those types of waves that require a material medium for their propagation. All right, so they need a material medium for their propagation. Examples of mechanical waves include water waves, sound waves, waves on a rope or a string. Aside from mechanical waves, we also have uh, electromagnetic waves. What are electromagnetic waves? Electromagnetic waves are those waves that do not require a material medium for their propagation. Examples of electromagnetic waves include X-rays, um, light waves, radio waves, and gamma rays. All right. So that's for the first criteria. Also, based on the direction of travel, we can classify waves into two. First one are called transverse waves. Also, we have longitudinal waves. What are transverse waves and what are longitudinal waves? Transverse waves are waves that travel in a direction that is perpendicular to the disturbance causing the wave. Okay? Alright. Um, so transverse waves are waves that travel perpendicular to the direction of the disturbance or the vibration causing the waves. Examples of transverse waves include um, water waves, light waves, and radio waves, etc. We also have longitudinal waves. What are longitudinal waves? Longitudinal waves are simply waves that travel in a direction parallel to the, vibe, to the direction of the vibration causing the wave. All right. So get this four distinct classification of waves, all right? When you classify waves based on uh, minimum propagation, there are two types, the mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. For mechanical waves, they require a material medium for their propagation. For the electromagnetic waves, they do not require a material medium for their propagation. When you classify waves based on the direction of travel, 
we said there are also two types, which are the transverse waves and longitudinal waves. We said for transverse waves, there are waves that travel perpendicularly to the direction of the vibration causing the wave. While for longitudinal waves, they travel parallel to the direction of the vibration causing the wave. All right. So with a diagram, we would um, describe the wave and talk about certain parameters that describes the wave. Description of a wave motion. Description of a wave. called a sine wave right sorry a sine motion it's called a sine wave that's uh, if you actually for that maths it's a sine wave it's something called a sine wave what does a sine wave look like just like this this is what you have right it's called a sine wave so um or a sine yeah sine motion or sine graph if you want to so we use sine graph to represent a wave and we say when you have a wave like this there are some things you have to pick up what and what the apex part of the wave yeah is called the crest of that wave. So here is called the crest, oh, excuse me. He said the apex part of the wave is called the crest. So then this is a crest. Also here is the apex part is called what there? A crest. So this is the crest of the wave. The lowest part of the wave is called what? The trunk. Uh, it's not prof, it's not prof, it is strong. So here is the chop. Alright. Right. The apex part is the crest, lowest part is the chop. Now we said the distance between two successive crests is called what? The wavelength. So between this is one crest, this is another crest. These two are successive crests. From here to here is called lambda. Wavelength. Please, when you're drawing your, your um, this is there. Make sure that the same level. Okay. This should be at the same level. This is a wavelength. Trough here and here. This also gives wavelength. Also give wavelength. So I have this. Next up, we we'll call amplitude. It's called the amplitude. This is called the amplitude. What's an amplitude? Simply distance from what there? Your plane, like the plane where the, where the wave starts from, to the highest crest. Right? The highest maximum, uh, the maximum vertical distance. From the plane of projection towards your highest maximum distance, what was the amplitude? So I have amplitude here. Um, the other one there, things like phase. But since it's a jump class, we won't consider phase. Phase is not in there. Alright? Take that one. Some tens, some tens, take that one. Some tens, some tens, some tens used to describe. A wave motion includes number one, amplitude. Some terms used to describe a wave motion includes number one, amplitude. This is the maximum definition. This is the maximum displacement. This is the maximum. This is the word vertical displacement. Better still. This is the maximum cost. This is vertical. This is the maximum vertical displacement of a particle from its rest position. This is the maximum vertical displacement of a particle from its rest position. That's it. Number two, 
wavelength. Put this. You can put it here if you want to. You put A here if you want to add it to A. Number two, wavelength. How do I see more depth? On that wavelength, right now, this is the distance between two successive crests or two successive troughs of a wave. Distance between two successive crests or two successive troughs of a wave. Full stop. It is represented by the Greek symbol X. What do you call this? This is called lambda. It is represented by the Greek symbol this. That is called lambda. Please take note. Amplitude is measured in meters to this stars. Wavelength is measured in meters. Take note, please. Amplitude is measured in meters. Wavelength is measured in meters. Fourth concept here is called frequency. Frequency is small n. Frequency is small n. Frequency is small n. This is the number frequency. This is the number of Complete vibration or circles or sorry, or cycles, right? This is the number of complete vibrations or cycles that a particle that a particle makes in one second. That a particle makes in one second. It is measured in hertz. H E R T Z. The short form is KC. Right? So frequency is measured in hertz. The short form is um, HC. Alright. One last thing there. One last thing there. Number five, number four, please. Period. Stick down. Period. This is the time taken period. This is the time taken by a wave particle. This is the time taken by a wave particle to complete one oscillation. This is the time taken by a wave particle to complete one oscillation. Oscillation. Complete one oscillation. Note. 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 The frequency and period of a wave. Of course. Uh, okay. The frequency and period of a wave are written by f is equal to one all over c or perhaps c is equal to one over f so it means the frequency is equal to the inverse of the period or you can say that the period is um, the inverse you can say frequency is equal to the inverse of the period or we have the period is equal to what then? The inverse of what? frequency. Whichever one goes. Alright, one last one please. Wave speed. One last one please. Wave speed. Wave speed. Also called wave velocity. Wave speed. Also called wave velocity is the distance traveled by a wave per second is the distance traveled by a wave per second 
I can use the word displacement. There's a displacement traveled by a wave per second. A displacement traveled by a wave per second. It is simply the velocity with which the wave moves. It is simply the velocity with which the wave moves. So stop. Note that. Note that the wave speed v, comma, its frequency f. Note that the wave speed v, comma, its frequency f and wavelength lambda and wavelength lambda are connected by the equation v is equal to f lambda a very important equation when it comes to describing waves v is equal to f lambda so the wave speed the wave frequency and its wavelength are related by velocity is equal to frequency times lambda. Alright. One last thing, please. Alright, take that please. Wave equation. I think this is this is what you should focus more on. Uh, wave equation. Take that please. The vertical displacement the vertical displacement covered by a wave y is equal to alright equal to a sign in bracket 2 pi x over lambda minus omega t minus omega t this is not w this one's omega okay it's not w it's omega minus omega t where where y is equal to the vertical distance vertical distance Covered by the wave, cos in meters, A is equal to the amplitude, amplitude of the wave, of cos in meters, X is equal to horizontal uh, displacement also in meters lambda set is equal to the wavelength in meters c is equal to time in seconds and then omega is equal to what's called angular velocity Omega is called angular velocity. This is what you should actually focus more on your wave equation. It's called angular speed or angular velocity. Take that out. Are we done with this? Omega is called angular velocity. We did, uh, what do you call it? We did, uh, what do you call it? Circular motion. In circular motion, what's your unit for angular velocity? Circular motion, what's the unit? Huh? Sorry? Yeah, yes. Rad per second. Rad per second. We said this, are you? Yes. Angular displacement is what? Uh, what do you call it? Rad in radians. Angular speed is what? Rad per second. Angular acceleration, uh, rad per second squared. Said so. Alright, we have omega is equal to 2 pi f. Okay. 
value omega is equal to 2 pi f in value. And what's f? f is equal to 3 point f is 3 point f is 3 point So if I put the value of omega into this equation, what do you get? It means that y is equal to a sine a sine in bracket 2 pi x 2 pi x all over what lambda minus omega what's omega there? 2 pi x because 2 pi x omega t you can see here omega t so 2 pi x of x t this becomes the wave equation this becomes the wave equation I've described all the x here right so that becomes uh, wave equation Let's an example here. Yeah? Um, a plain progressive wave, a plain progressive wave is represented. All right, all right, all right. So I'm seeing an example. Said a plain progressive wave is represented by the equation y is equal to two sine in bracket 2000 pi t minus 0 0.5 x y is equal to 2 sine this minus 0 0.5 x to the bracket we are the symbols have their usual meaning we are the symbols have their usual meanings full stop where the symbols have their usual meaning. Full stop. What is the frequency of the wave? What is the frequency of the wave? Question mark. What is its amplitude? Question mark. What is the frequency of the wave? Question mark. What is its frequency is its amplitude question mark look at the solution i think one of the easiest one of the one of the questions you expect aside your what do you call it mirror whatever so i said aside your mirror whatever one of the questions you expect is what waves all right especially the wave equation Okay, so you should find out parameters. When it comes to finding parameters in wave equation, what do you do? Your, your ability to get questions when it comes to wave is dependent on can you recall the wave equation? If you can't, simply do what then? Compare values, and that's all. Compare the values, and that's all. Two things to look out for are this your t and your x. Don't forget this, please. Two things to look out for are your t and your x. When it comes to the T, it is from where I have the T, I can get frequency. When it comes to the X, it is from where I have X, I can get what there? Wavelength, lambda. So they say find wavelength, look for the one that contains X and solve it. If they say find frequency, look for one that contains what there? T and solve it. Alright, in this case, I have to find the frequency here. What do I do? Comparing. If I compare this, comparing with the wave equation, what do I have? Look at it. Look at it. Uh, which part of my wave equation has t? This one here, okay? So what do you guys say? So it means that 2 pi f t is equal to which part of the equation here has t? This one, okay? What do you have here? 2,000 over there. 5 t. That's it. So compare this one that has t equates to t. That's it. Now the question now will be how come in this part this one has minus? Like how come in this equation this one was like the second one or this one came after the minus? But in this case it came before the minus. Why is this so? Uh, the idea is very simple. It's thinking about direction. That's all. Alright, usually 
if a plane is traveling in the positive direction, you have this way here. If a plane is traveling in the reverse direction, what happens? You come from there, negative of this. So if I pass minus through this, this minus goes and comes up now, minus 2 pi f. That's why this, in this case now, the x now have minus. This minus comes and comes up there, minus pi is what there, plus. This one becomes positive. But listen to this bit. When it comes to wave equation, forget the minus, it doesn't matter. Just focus on what there, comparing your t or your x. Find frequency. Frequency is the one that has t. So this one is equal to this one. That's all. From here now, solve this. How do you solve this? If I have lambda here, of course, to get f, what do you what do you get now? Divide by what? 2 pi t. I mean, so, so that 2 will cancel 2. Pi cancel pi. T cancel t. Divide this other side 2 by the same thing. Divide it by 2 pi t. What goes here? T cancel t. Pi to 5. So I have that f is equal to 2 cancel pi. So you see what there? 1000. For frequency, what's the unit? Hertz. That's all. My frequency is equal to 1000 hertz. That's all. Now hang on. Hang on. We are asked to calculate amplitude. So amplitude is A. We call this amplitude. Please complete this equation please. What's amplitude? 2. That's all. Amplitude is simply whatever comes before sign. So amplitude, that's all. Compared to this, I have 2 before sign. So it becomes 2. What's the unit here? Meters. 2 meters. That's all. Simple. Let's compare the equation and solve them. This is a jam question. He said, y is equal to a sine 2 pi x all over lambda minus 2 pi x. Pick up an example. Given the progressive wave equation, given the progressive wave equation given the progressive wave equation y is equal to phi sine 2000 pi t minus 0.4 x minus 0.4 x Calculate the wave length. Calculate the wave length. Here are your options. All right. You have to find wave length. In this question, you have to find wavelength template. When it comes to finding wave wavelength, plate, do we do we consider the t or the x for wavelength? Yes. X. So comparing, comparing with the wave equation. To compare the two axes, for this one here, what do you have? I have 0.4x is equal to, compared to the general equation, what do you have here? Call the word there. That's what I have here. Alright, it's, mathematical, it's mathematically correct. If I have the same term on both sides, it can cancel out. It's mathematically correct. So from here, what happens now? X can cancel X. It's out. Okay? What X here? Cross multiply. This times this. What do you get there? 0. 0.4 lambda is equal to 1 times 2 pi. This is what there? 2 pi. To get lambda there, divide by what? 0. 0.4. Divide by what? 0. 0.4. This will cancel this. So lambda is now equal to 2 pi all over 0.4. Thank you.
millimeters of it. Two pi all over zero point four. Give me your answer. What do you get? Fifteen point what? Fifteen point seven meters. Which option? Option B. Any question? The distance. Think of this. The distance between two successive crests of a wave. The distance between two successive crests of a wave is 15 cm. The distance between two successive crests of a wave is 15 cm. And the velocity and the velocity 300 meters per second and the velocity 300 meters per second calculate the frequency calculate the frequency Calculate the frequency. <coughs> All right, so here's a question. Calculate frequency. So, what the options? What do you get? Is what? This out given parameters. Please check. What's first I'm giving there? I'm giving wavelengths. Of course, it said the distance between two successive what? Crests. And we define that as what? A wavelength. So solution, I have number one. Wavelength, lambda, as equal to what there? Fifteen cm. What else do I have there? I have velocity. V as equal to how many? 300 watts meters per second. Question. Set case 1. List out the parameters. Case 2. Do your conversion. Please, am I converting yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Please check. Am I converting yes or no? Yes. Fact. But observe, this is what here? Meters. This one is what here? Centimeters. What does it mean? Convert what there? Centimeters to what here? Meters. That's that. To convert from CM to centimeter, what do you do? What is now divide? Divide by how many? So divide 15 by 100, what do you get there? This is 0 0.15 in meters. Alright, we are asked to find frequency is equal to or no. For frequency, what's the formula? What's the formula relating frequency, wavelength, and this? You have the what? Velocity is equal to what? There? F1. Lambda. Divide here by lambda. Divide here by lambda. What's F? V over what F? Wavelength. Abi? So it's now equal to what's V? 300. All over. What's wavelength? 0 0.15. Please give me 300 over 0 0.15. What do you get? 2,000 watts. Okay, are we? So the one that has head is what? Frequency. Alright. Please. Give me 2000 in standard form. What do you mean? 2.0. Because 2.0 times 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 2.0 Your answer is this one. That's your answer. Any question? So, so listen to this. Listen to this. This one says a wave that travels through stretch string is known as dash. What's the answer? Through stretch string is known as dash. What's it called? Through stretch string. What of wave is that? Huh? Mechanical wave or what? Huh? Check, you mentioned it twice. 
was under mechanical what? Transverse wave. I mean, wave on a string. That was under mechanical and transverse. Now listen, your options are this. A, electromagnetic wave. B, microwave. Imagine. C, mechanical wave. D, seismic wave. What's the answer there? <laughs> mechanical wave. Next up, please. Next question, please. Now, listen, listen to this one. It says, a transverse wave and a longitudinal wave traveling in the same direction in a medium differ essentially in their question mark. All right, just listen up. Listen up. It's easy. It's easy. A transverse wave and a longitudinal wave Traveling in the same direction in a medium differ essentially in their A. Frequency B. Amplitude C. Direction of vibration of the particle of the medium D. Period of vibration of the particle of the medium What's the answer there? Huh? Transverse longitude now What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, uh, what's the difference there? Huh? Is it frequency? Is it amplitude? Is it the direction of vibration of the particle of the medium? Or is it the period of vibration of the particle of the medium? Which of them? Direction. What's transverse wave? A wave that travels what there? Perpendicularly towards the direction of what? The vibration of what? That causes the wave. So what we have there? Direction. direction, not period. Check. In defining transverse and longitudinal wave. We never mentioned what? Period. It was just what the direction. This is direction. What what's what the the direction? For transverse what? Perpendicular. For uh, longitudinal is what? Parallel. It's because of a directional problem. The equation of the wave traveling in a horizontal direction is expressed as the equation of the wave traveling in a horizontal direction is expressed as you have this what is its wavelength what is its wavelength what is its wavelength? What is its wavelength? All right, let's get this done. So we shall. Please, when it comes to before that, let me recall. Let me recall my wave equation. Wave equation is y equal to what? Eh? A sine 2 pi x over lambda minus what? I'm going to find with that place. Am I looking at the x or the t? The x. The x. Now, here's the way from the base now. Here's not the difference. In this question now, observe that it was not c. In this one, it was a bracket something. In this one, I thought of them, a, sorry, it was sine bracket something. This one because of now sign something first. First. So that's, that's not the difference in this question here. It's not just sign and bracket. No, it's sign something first before bracket. So what's your first task? Your first task is to expand the bracket. From here I'll have that y is equal to 15 sign. You use the multiply to 2 times 60 gives you what there? 120 t over what there? 5. 2 times 6 is 120 over 5 minus 2 times x 2 over 5 x This is the first step Expand the bracket first After this one minute, you now do your comparison For wavelength, am I looking the t or the x? For wavelength, the x So comparing Comparing with the wave equation with 
with equation. What do I get? This one here. Yeah? No, this here. Yeah? 2 pi x all over what? Yeah? Lambda okay? is equal to this one that has x here. What do you get there? 2 over 5 x. The same. If you have the same term on both sides, what happens now? You cancel out. So x, you cancel out there, x. I can see 2, I can see 2. If you want to cancel, fine. If you want to see it for black, no problem. This times this. 2 lambda is equal to this times this. 2 pi times what? 5. Expand it. 2 lambda is equal to 2 times 5. Then lambda. Divide them by 2. Divide them by 2. I have that lambda is equal to 10 by 2 gives you what then? 5 lambda. Alright, so 5 what? 5 please. Okay, so this is now equal to this point. What is 5 back? 15 by what? 15 by 7. Uh, meter. Uh, that means my most correct answer is not here. So which do I take? I'll take this one here. But should it should actually work then? 16 or 15. This is approximately 16 meters, not 15. That's why I said when it comes to doing your job, for the job partial answers, the answers they are not too correct. At least besides myself. Let me show you one thing, it just my mind. Let me show you one thing before we go. What if, look at this. What if they give you an equation like this? Let's say they give you an equation like this. Let's say 5y is equal to 2 sine. Uh, Shall I make it complex? Don't worry, let me make it the best. Uh, 3000 c minus 0.6x, for instance. In this case, how do you solve this? Now, just like this case, and there's now a 5 outside. How would you solve this one? What would you do? Huh? This one is different from if I said 5y is equal to 2 sine 3 over 7 into 3000 t minus 0 0.6 x. It's not a different thing. Alright, let's get So, this is the how do you solve it? Let me examine that. The, the color will be 100. You know, the two is to be 100. How do you solve this? Alright, so the case will now be this, right? Divide this by what? 5. Divide all of this by what? 5. This is now cancel. Now, listen. Listen. From mathematics, I get if this, if all of this is divided by this, I can simply do this. Clean this man here yeah, and bring it all over 5. Hence, yes, my answer is what there? 2 over 5. It's correct. So that's a small thing. But you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. So that's like the same concept here. Same thing here. Or here, my answer is what there? 2 over 5. Alright, comrades. See you.